Hack number one for the speak about the photo question for the Duolingo English test is to have a structure. If you remember, the speak about the photo question looks something like this. It says that you have to speak for at least 30 seconds. You'll have 20 seconds to prepare. And then after the preparation time, it's time to speak. And you have to speak for between 30 to 90 seconds. Now, this is hard to do. So one of the best ways to speak for a longer amount of time is to have a structure. So what's the structure? The first part of it is that you want to describe or make inferences, that's make a guess, about the foreground. So the foreground is the part that you see first. Here's an example of this picture that we're going to describe together. And this is how I would start. The foreground is pretty much the first thing that you see. Well, there are two flight attendants walking down the street at a very brisk pace. They are both carrying briefcases and small black coolers. I know that's a, a little hard to see, but they have a little black cooler as well. One strange thing about this picture is that they have on the exact same outfit. They have on black skirt suits with black tights and black heels. Talking about clothes is a really easy way to extend your answer. They have their hair up and it looks like blue scarves around their neck. I also noticed something else around the neck on the woman to the left, probably an ID badge for her to gain access where she works. So there I'm making guesses. So I'm describing the image and making some guess about what they're wearing and why they're wearing it. Well, the next thing you want to describe is the location. I think these flight attendants are headed to the airplane so that they can get ready for the next flight. Their briefcases are probably carrying a change of clothes for when they land. That's uh, just a guess though. So I'm just making a guess about the location. It looks like they're on a runway and they're walking to the plane. Just a guess. Next thing you can do to have a structure is you can make inferences about the past, present, or future. So what does that mean? Let me just give you an example. And I will read the part highlighted in red. I imagine that the small black cooler bags contain a packed lunch so that when they have their break, they can enjoy a snack or even a small meal before they take care of the passengers on the plane again. So I'm taking a guess about how they're going to use these bags in the future. Maybe they're going to have a snack after they feed passengers. That's just a guess though. So I'm making guesses based on the image. You want to use information on the image. I see these little bags. And so I'm making guesses about how they're going to be used in the future. Again, this is a way to extend your answer. So remember, you want to try to speak for as long as possible because part of your grade is your grammar and vocabulary. Longer you speak, more grammar and vocabulary you have. So the next thing that you can do is add additional details. So if you still have time and you're trying to find some more things to say, here's an example. Uh, they're walking between two white lines with white bear claws painted on the pavement. That must mean that this is a safe walking zone on the runway. It's pretty interesting actually. I've never seen this kind of walkway before. So just some extra details to help me extend my answer. All right, that was a long hack number one. Let's get into hack number two, which is speak for at least 60 seconds, which I kind of said already, right? Now, if you look at this sample response here, it's 210 words. If I wrote everything out, it's 210 words. That's a lot of words, okay? If I spoke this out loud, it'd probably take about 75 seconds, almost 90 seconds. So that's kind of what you wanna aim for when you're speaking about 200 words for one of these responses for speak about the photo. All right, hack number three is to subscribe to this channel. Yes, hit the like button, subscribe. It would really help me a lot. And uh, that is a, that's probably the best hack there is. Uh, let me give you another hack, number three, to make the clock your friend. Look, timers are scary. Speaking with a clock is scary. When you see a number counting down and you have to speak, <laughs> it makes you nervous. It makes me nervous at least, right? So what can you do? When you're practicing speaking at home, practice while looking at a clock. It'll be hard to get used to at first, you want to start by getting comfortable answering these questions, but after you feel comfortable, start using a clock, 
look at the clock as you speak so you can be ready on test day and you won't feel so nervous. So that's this third hack for speak about the photo, practice with a clock. Hack number four is to imagine you are talking to a blind person. So if you're talking to somebody who can't see this picture, okay, just imagine somebody can't see this picture, you wouldn't describe it very generally. You wouldn't say there's a picture of two women, they're walking on the street, they are wearing uniforms. You know, that doesn't give a lot of description, a lot of details. I can't imagine what this picture looks like if I hadn't seen it. And just to give you an example from my own response, I'm gonna read this part highlighted in red. They have on black skirt suits with black tights and black heels. They have their hair up and it looks like blue scarves around their neck. I also noticed something else around the neck of the woman to the left, probably an ID badge for her to gain access where she works. So a lot of details here, not very complicated vocabulary. I say black a little too much, but they're wearing all black, so you have to say it. Um, so, there so if I didn't see this picture, I can imagine, okay, a blue little scarf, a black outfit, they both have their hair up. You know, it g paints a good picture for somebody who, do who can't see this picture. All right, hack number five, last hack probably the most important. It is to be specific, to show a wide range of vocabulary. Again, going back to the grading criteria, you're grading on your grammatical and lexical complexity. The more you describe, the higher your score. Let me give you a few examples of being specific. I don't just mean having a lot of adjectives. I mean being specific with the nouns. So for example here, there are two flight attendants. I didn't say two women, I said two flight attendants. Or a, a small black cooler. A cooler is more specific than a bag. Uh, an ID badge. Uh, white bear claws painted on the pavement. Uh, walking zone on the runway. So runway, pavement, cooler, flight attendant. These are all nouns that are more specific. I know you might not know all these words and you might not be able to use them all on test day, but if you know some good vocabulary, some good nouns that are more specific, you wanna use them when you speak. Those are the five hacks for speak about the photo. But if you thought this was helpful, you're definitely gonna like this next one about read then speak questions and the five hacks to improve your score on read then speak questions. Don't forget to check out tstprep.com for a production score evaluation. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next one.